Hey Jet Setters, it's C. It's a great time to be alive here in Jacksonville for FTM Fashion Week Season 10. Hosted by the lovely hostess with the mostest, Vivica A. Fox herself. Like that's just as big enough bag for somebody to come strolling through. Uh, enough is shopping. Since 2009, started looking out with the demand. Can I ask how do you all keep the look of the bags current? You know, because I see this year that you did a lot of pop colors with the orange and the yellow, the lilac, and how you mixed it too. How did you all come up with that idea? Well, uh, basically, I just see, see a lot of the ladies that stand around. You know, when I see them, they out the models, I'll be out of the lot. And I take from that and I try to like. See it, visualize it. All right, next up, we got a very lovely, simple t shirt dress, which is very easy and very comfortable to wear. Here we go, yes. Oh, this is cute, this is a one shoulder. Oh, come on, okay, right? Right, I love this too. Now we got a black and white ensemble. Looks like we have a black, a black dress that's been layered underneath with a long sleeve white shirt. Tell me about your most memorable experience working for Hype Hair. Well, uh, we've been publishing it over 30-something years. The magazine conception was the young ladies, a lot of ladies want to look, and they look at the hairstyles and what have you in the magazine, and they take it to their salon and say, their stylist, and say, hey, can you do this style for me? And we have the stars on the cover. We had to start every star, female star on the cover of Hype Hair magazine. Uh, in fact, Vivica Fox was on the cover of Black Men High. Yeah. Here. So we're helping young models, young designers that are trying to get into the next level. And this is what we're about, helping those young designers and young models. Uh, and I know you're a model. Look at this. Bird. What I used to model. I don't model anymore. <laughs> I used to model. I have a question for both of you guys. So where do you see the hair industry going in the next five years? And you answer that first. Where? Five years. <laughs> five years from now. because. Every black woman is going to keep their hair and want their hair to go, okay? So, I mean, it's going to grow. What do you prefer to see? I, natural. I'm a natural hair. I love to see our black women there in their natural realm and what happens. Natural beauty is the way to go, right? Beauty. <laughs> what about you? What do you prefer to see? Lace fronts or natural hair? Everything is goes in cycles. Uh, believe it's it or beautiful, not, right? I'm just reading about how relaxers are coming back again. Uh, so me and John have been around. We, we were even big in the curl days, and I wore a curl for 20 years. Uh, you had a jerry curl back in the day? I, I did. did you uh, have a jerry curl? I had a jerry, but only for one year. <laughs> <laughs> I sat on a couch. Did you do the, did you do the mullet like Michael Jackson? Yeah. I had that on a couch in the back of my head. Had a, <laughs> I've heard so many stories about people with the jerry curl juice just like dripping on his, on the back of the seat or the pillow. Yeah, yeah, that, that happened. What was the most memorable experience of celebrating your 10th anniversary of FTM Fashion Week today? I would say all the love and the support that we received this year. It was definitely a tearjerker for me. <laughs> Be sure to come back on Fashion Forward with C every Friday to see more hot styles only on Hello ENC.